verse 15 of chapter 4, he says, If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will send another helper, another of the same kind. And you remember, I said to you, that Sonia was a stickler for how she raised her kids. We couldn't go anywhere, but Grandma came to live with us, and she's the one that taught Sonia everything that she knew, so that when Grandma was in the house, she was another helper of the same kind. That's what the Holy Spirit is. He is another helper of the same kind. We noted for you that Jesus is the first helper. He is the first paraclete, the first advocate. But now he says, I'm going to leave and I'm sending you uh, uh, a capable babysitter. Uh, another of the same kind. And uh, he will be with you forever. Be with you forever. He will never leave. Then verse 17, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Are you seeing that in your text? Because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him for he dwells with you and will be in you. <laughs> you can't tell me that you've been born again and you don't abide in the instruction. Let me try it again in accordance with the text. You cannot say that you love me and you don't do what I say. How are you telling me that you love me and you do not do what I'm telling you to do? Hmm, not only, not only that, brothers and sisters, we can distinguish. I mean to say this as best as I can, but we can distinguish between believers and unbelievers depending on whose voice they follow. First John 4, 6 says, we are from God. Whoever knows God listens to us. Whoever is not from God does not listen to us. But this, we know the spirit of truth, by this rather, we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. I, what, 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 Pam, Pam, what am I trying to say? I'm, I'm simply saying this. You can tell who's a believer by those who hear and do the word of God. Ain't no use of you talking about how much you love God and wasting time with a long testimony. When we see what you do across the week, I don't want to. I don't want to hear uh, somebody pray, sing, preach, or nothing who don't live according to the word of God. And uh, I know, I know that uh, when I tell you about the word and you don't do it yeah. Yeah. you might call yourself a hard headed Christian but I'd call you a non Christian you can't tell me that you love him and you don't do what he says to do and so we have the spirit of truth. Can, can, can I just give you another one? First John 5, 6. He says, uh, this is he who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not by water only, but by water and blood. And the spirit is the one who testifies because the spirit is truth. 
and all the writer, all John is trying to say here is that uh, if you want to know whether or not Christ really existed and died, he said, he said, the spirit of the Lord will testify. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have to take the time uh, to explain to everybody uh, the details surrounding Jesus' execution. I don't have to take the time to run through all the evidence with people who truly want to believe. When I find somebody who really wants to come out of their sin, I don't have to explain to them about the hypostatic union. When I find somebody who really want to be saved, and I have to explain to them about propitiation and expiation. All they want to know is, did he die for me? I'm just telling you, I'm telling you. Because the spirit of the Lord will get their hearts ready to receive. That, that, that's not your job. See, that's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. All you got to do is give people the word. You don't have to force it down their throats. You just tell them what the word says. And what does all this mean for us? It means that I can trust everything that the word has said. I can, that's, that's the good news. I can trust the word of God. Sometimes... Uh, a news outlet will come out with a breaking story. I got to quit. Uh, they come out with a breaking story. And uh, a couple of weeks later, they have to issue an apology. All right, all right. Because they got their information wrong. But out of all the years that God has spoken. God has never had to issue an apology. Why everything? I'm excited. I'm sorry. Calm down. What God has said has always come to pass. And that's why you can trust, Frank, in the Lord. That is why I can trust in the Lord because he never lies. If you want to know who he is, go to the word of God. Um, I told you before that it was the Holy Spirit in creation that caused the world to teem with life. It was the Holy Spirit that moved on the womb of Mary, brought Jesus into existence. Not the Son of God, but Jesus, the incarnated one, brought him into existence. And it is the Holy Spirit, I just read to you, that lives inside of us and illuminates the word. You might not be able to say it like I can say it. Amen. You might not be able to say it like the deacons could say it. But you ought to have your own testimony. You ought not to let somebody tell you how it is. No! Uh, the reason why Jesus says, I can't uh, tell these boys to shut up. Because if I tell them to shut up, the rocks will cry out. Somebody got to talk about God. Wait, 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 wait. Let, let me tell you, let me tell you. See, you ought to not get upset about the vastness of the universe. And you say, you say, I ain't going to know what you're Let me see, you see, let me see if I can work it out. You see, we, we talk about how big the universe is and maybe how much wasted space there is. Hmm, there are. We are on this small planet, and look at all of that. And so we come up with all these types of theories. It's not 
For you, it's to show you how big God is. Man was created to testify to the glory of God. Wait, 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 watch this. The Bible says the world was created to show off the glory. And man was created to see his glory. Patricia, you ought to tell somebody. Every now and then you ought to tell somebody. God is good. No, 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 no. That's some tough stuff in the world going on right now. But God is still good. And, 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 and we got people going on home to be with the Lord. And we got sickness. Oh, old folk will say in the land. But God is still good. And, and, and I know that you might not have achieved in your career exactly and all the things you wanted to, but God is still good. I mean, and, and, and your children may not be exactly where you want them to be, but God is still good. And so I'm telling you, you ought to be willing to testify. Because of the word, I'm done. I'm sorry. I'll have to come back and finish this. Can, 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 I, just, can I just tell you that he lives inside of you. I was stuck in a little while. Talk to you, but I can't. I'm sorry. Um, old Thanos. In the popular Marvel comics and a recently popularized movie uses a gauntlet with infinity stones and he snaps his finger and half the universe ceases to exist. That is horrifying. But it's not as scary as the truth is. Let me ask you a question, Rodney. Is it easier to exhale or to snap your fingers? Oh, help me out, help me. Uh, which is easier, uh, to snap your fingers. Okay, watch this, watch this. Is it easier to snap your fingers or to inhale? Oh! I'm sorry, I'm, sorry. I'm trying to keep going. Diane, I'm trying to keep going. This, yes, which, which? Inhale. did not have the power within himself he had to collect stones. And I, I, I was pretty upset about it. The way he beat up on the Hulk. I was upset about it, but he still had to gather all those stones. Snap his finger. But Job said in Job 34, Verses 14 and 15, he said, if God were to take his spirit from the earth, he said, all mankind would cease to exist. Oh, I ain't saying nothing I'm going to tell you. Listen, he said... Thanos had to exert energy by snapping his fingers. God said, if I just take my spirit back. Let me try it again. Let me try it again. When he, when he created us, he, he exhaled into our nostrils. But the 
Bible said that if he were to. Oh, I, I, am I too excited? If God were to inhale. Everybody. All at once. Would cease to exist. That in a while. You can't get the truth. From the movies. Listen, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you. The truth is that God is in charge. God is in control. And I can trust God with who I am. Brothers and sisters, you have the spirit of truth living inside of you.